Lesson 3, How are chemical properties used? Chemical and physical properties are helpful in many ways. They can be used to separate mixtures and to help identify materials. Chemical properties can be used to separate mixtures and substances and separate elements from solutions. Substances in some mixtures can be separated by physical means. For example, you can, you can separate salt and pepper because they have different physical properties. Substances may also have different chemical properties that can be used to separate them from one another. Scientists who study dinosaur fossils and other fossils use chemical properties to separate mixtures. Fossils are often scattered throughout limestone. It can be difficult to chip limestone off a fossil without damaging the fossil. However, limestone can be separated from fossils by using vinegar. Limestone can be dissolved by vinegar. A bubbling reaction occurs when you put the vinegar on the limestone and fossils, which are made of a different kind of rock, do not react with vinegar as quickly. So scientists sometimes use vinegar or similar chemicals to separate fossils from rock. Ores are rocks that include metals combined with other substances. People rely on chemistry to release metals from their ores. For example, Iron ore contains iron oxide. Heating iron ore in a hot furnace with solid carbon allows the iron to separate from the oxygen in the ore. The result is pure iron and carbon dioxide. This process works because iron has the chemical property of bonding to oxygen less strongly than that than band to carbon. So here's the graphic picture of separating iron from its oxygen so it produces pure iron and carbon dioxide. Here's a chemical equation. We talked about chemical equations in the last video. As you can see, we have iron oxide, which is 2Fe and O, oxygen and iron, iron oxide, plus carbon, and it reacts. Here's the reaction shown by the arrow into iron and carbon dioxide. What kind of reaction is this? Does anyone see? It's a replacement reaction. Scientists use physical properties such as density to identify substances. They can use chemical properties for this purpose as well. Acids and bases are two common types of substances. Lemon juice and vinegar are acids. Household cleaners may, may contain bases. Strong acids or bases will react with other materials more easily than weak acids and bases do. Acids and bases have chemical properties that help people identify them. Acids and bases react with chemicals in a special paper called universal indicator paper. These reactions produce color changes in the paper. Substances that are strong acids will turn the paper red. Strong bases will turn the, purple, the paper purple. Weaker acids or bases will produce different colors. We will be doing an experiment in class with universal indicator paper to identify acids and bases. Here is the pH scale. This is how you know the pH or how acidic, acidic would be one or basic a substance is. Sometimes scientists use flame tests to identify a substance. In a flame test, a material is heated to high temperatures in a flame. Different substances will cause the flame to have different colors. When these flames are studied closely with laboratory equipment, the substances can be identified. So for example, if you heat lithium to high heat, it produces a red flame. If you heat copper to high heat, it will produce a greenish-blue flame. 